Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for May 6, 2016. So, beautiful day in front of us, a new moon in Taurus. I love the moon in Taurus in general and it's a new moon, remember? Like, that we are like a sponge during the new moon, you know? Everything we send out and receive is something is, that would um, follow us energetically in the next lunar cycle for the next uh, couple of weeks. We start our morning, if you are in Europe, with a conjunction to Venus. It could be a very beautiful morning, a very pleasant morning. It's a morning that has to do a lot with eating, drinking, enjoying yourself. Any sensuary, sensuary pleasures are heightened today. We just have to be careful and not spend too much money over beauty, pampering, food, drink, and so on and so forth. Okay? There's a sextile to Neptune at around noon time, Central European time, that's around 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, making us a little more utopic or, or uh, um, unrealistic than usual. And there's a trine to Jupiter at around 1500 hours Central European Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, a benevolent time, optimistic time. Don't uh, let the opportunities pass you by. Enjoy this time, replenish your energies, but don't let them pass you by. Later on, at around 1800 hours Central European time, that's 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, there is a Queen Kong to Saturn talking about the need to take off some of the load, to lesser our responsibilities, to understand that our environment doesn't necessarily have to be supportive today, and we need to reprioritize what we deal with and go on in a more efficient manner. There is a trine to Pluto at around 1900 hours Central European time, 1300 hours Eastern Standard time. Really a time of change, a time of uh, um, growing up in a beautiful manner, of uh, evolving, of becoming, and the sun and the moon are conjunct because it's a new moon, of course. So allow yourself that change. Allow yourself to put behind you some of the paradigms and some of the actions that we previously were used to uh, uh, be involved in. And like, you know, a snake every time it wants to grow, it needs to shed its skin and leave something behind. And we're metaphorically the same. Venus is Queen Kongsing Mars. Again, a time of purification in our action regarding Venusian subjects like relationships, love, satisfaction, and the way we draw in funds. Some of our actions and the way we've done it before need to be left behind. So, thank you for listening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. This is Boss Father and Georgia signing off. Goodbye.